Hello students, today we are going to talk about Pythagoras theorem. Do you know there are about 350 ways that you can prove the Pythagoras theorem? And today we are going to talk about two of them. So let's start with the first proof. Take a right angled triangle with perpendicular side A unit, B unit and hypotenuse C unit. Make four congruent copies of it. Rearrange these four triangles to form a square. Now observe, the empty space in between has the area C square. Now let's make a copy of this square. And let's arrange the triangles of this square like this. Observe both the figures. Since the original square has not changed and the triangles are also the same, the area of empty spaces between both the figures is also the same giving us a square plus b square is equal to c square. Now let's look at one more proof of this theorem. For this, we need to understand a small concept. Students, do you know why we write the area of any figure as unit square? Let's take a square with side 3 unit. Now, by formula, the area of this square will be 9 unit square. Why? Simple. If we join the dots, we will get 9 squares of unit length. Now, keeping this in mind, draw a right angled triangle with side 3 unit, 4 unit and hypotenuse 5 unit. Draw squares using the length of each side. Now, observe. The number of unit squares in the two figures is equal to the number of unit squares in the third figure, thus proving the Pythagoras theorem. So students, there are more than 350 ways to prove the Pythagoras theorem. Can you think of any one? For more such fantastic videos, follow Top Scholars.